Hey, what is up guys? Jeremy here and welcome back to another video. We're doing another best tweaks of the week. If you guys haven't seen previous episodes, I will leave the playlist link down in the description. So if you guys want to discover more really cool tweaks from Cydia, be sure to check out that playlist link. Uh, but anyways, we're going to check out some more really cool tweaks, like I said, from Cydia. Now, some of these tweaks will require you to add a source to the sources in your Cydia in order to get them. So down in the description, I will leave all of the tweaks listed there, along with the repos or source that you will need to add in Cydia to get them. So be sure to check that out. Uh, but anyways, let's go ahead and let's jump into this. So the first tweak I got for you guys is super simple. It's been around for a while. It needed to be updated for iOS 9.3.3. And now it is. The tweak is called Preference Organizer 2. Uh, and basically what it does is organize your settings application to be a lot more simple. So as you guys can see, if I swipe to the bottom of settings, uh, all of the applications and tweaks and App Store apps are all in their own sections within settings. And in my opinion, it just makes uh, settings a lot easier to go through. It's a lot simpler to navigate to your tweaks. So as you guys can see, you have system applications, which is iCloud, iTunes, your wallet and Apple Pay mail, notes, reminders, etc. And then you have your social networking applications, Twitter, Facebook, etc. And then you have your tweaks section, which I really like. I love having all my tweaks in just one section. And then you have your app store applications below that. So very simple tweak, just install it and it works. Again, it's called Preference Organizer 2. Next up we have B Green. This is a really cool tweak that allows you to customize uh, the battery information on your device within your status bar. So if you guys notice in the upper left is where all my battery info is. I'm currently at 92% on my battery and I have 1052 milliamp hours out of 1144. Uh, now this tweak is completely customizable. You can have, you know, it look totally different than what I have. So if we go into B green here, uh, we go to battery percent format number one. As you guys can see, you have your iOS curved format. You have 100%. You have just the 100. You have 100 with an extra decimal percentage to really fine tune your percentage. Uh, you have the curved format again. There's a lot of different variations of how you can have your battery percentage displayed on your status bar. As you guys can see, uh, you can also have it as just a text number. As you can see right there, 94. Uh, you have your raw current capacity. The capacity is pretty cool because it shows your milliamp hour battery, uh, you know, what's remaining within it, which is pretty cool. You also have your battery temperature, uh, and then you can also have external battery percentages in there as well. So you can customize your battery percentage to basically look any way you want. And I've gone with the kind of 92% and then the milliamp hour battery uh, kind of uh, percentage next to that. I think it's a really cool tweak. Again, it's called B Green. Next up, we have a tweak I just covered recently. It's called color banners so if we go into settings back out of b green here and go down to color banners basically it does as its name implies is it colorizes your banners and the way it colorizes it that's a bad example is to whatever the dominant color of the app icon so as you guys can see all the backgrounds are different colors depending on the colors of the application icon itself which is really cool uh, there's a lot of customization that goes into color banners as well you can really fine tune the tweak uh, and to make your banners look exactly the way you want. Definitely a really cool tweak. Again, it's called Color Banners. Next up, we have HUD Customizer. So if I go ahead and turn the volume up on my device, as you guys can see, my HUD is a bit different looking than normal. I have different colors. The background color of the HUD is a bit different. There's actually a border, and the overall size of my HUD is a little bit smaller than it normally is as well. It's a really cool tweak. There's a lot of stuff to configure. I'm not gonna go through in this video, uh, but you can change the animations. You can change the position of the HUD. Like I said, you can make it bigger or smaller. You can fully customize all the colors of the HUD. It's definitely a really cool tweak. Again, it's called HUD Customizer. The next tweak I got for you guys is called Instant Touch ID. Now it's kind of hard to demonstrate this, but basically the way it works is when you're on your lock screen, let's go ahead and lock our device. Uh, when the screen is black, normally you have to click the home button to wake your device up and then it will register your touch ID to unlock it. Basically what this tweak does is allows you to just put your finger on the touch ID without pressing it. It will uh, sense that your fingerprint is there and then it will scan it and unlock your device without having to wake the display up first. So if I just put my fingerprint on touch ID, as you guys can see, it wakes it up and then just unlocks it. You don't actually have to 
click your home button to wake the display and then use touch id it basically eliminates a step and i really like the tweak it's super simple just install it and it works again it's called instant touch id so i'm sure you guys are wondering how i have rearranged my entire status bar i've basically moved everything around on it as you guys can see the wi-fi is all the way to the, the right i have the battery information all the way to the left and i also have the clock and date to the right as well and that's due to the tweak movable 9. so if we go ahead and jump into the settings application back out and then go down to movable 9 basically what this tweak allows you to do is completely rearrange your status bar to however you want it so as you can see here's the sort order this is where you're going to be able to move everything around this is how i have mine set up right now i have a couple of things in the hidden section i have my uh, data network uh, Wi-Fi, 4G, LTE to the right, I have the time to the right, and then to the left I have the battery percentage. Uh, and like I said, Movable 9 basically allows you to move all the different elements within uh, the status bar to whatever side or in the middle you want. And then also, like I said, there is a hidden section. So if there's certain things you want to hide, you can do that as well. So definitely a really cool tweak to have on your device. Again, it's called Movable 9. The next tweak I got for you guys is called Wink. Basically what this tweak does is it keeps all the information in your status bar hidden until you tap your status bar. So if I wanted to see what my battery percentage is at, just tap the status bar. As you can see, then it reveals all of the information that's normally within my status bar. Uh, this is a really cool tweak to keep your device looking super clean and very minimal. So if we go into TweetBot here, as you can see, without the status bar there, it just has a much more clean look in my opinion. And like I said, if you want to see your percentage or the time or anything, just click the status bar. It does reveal it uh, after that. So the tweak also does have settings to configure. You can configure how long it shows uh, the information in your status bar before it fades away. And you can also change the animations from fade to curl and a bunch of other stuff. So a lot of different options to configure with it. Again, this tweak is called Wink. Now the last tweak I got for you guys I covered recently as well. It's called Watch Notifications. So basically what this tweak does is it brings the watch OS style notifications that you get on the iWatch and it brings it to iOS. So I'll go ahead and jump into settings here. We can go into uh, watch notifications and I'll send a test to show you what your notifications will look like on your lock screen when you have this tweak installed. As you can see, the layout of the notification looks a lot different than the stock iOS look. It's more like the watch OS look. Hence the name Watch Notifications. A very simple but really cool looking tweak in my opinion. I kind of fell in love with this tweak after I installed it. I've been using it ever since. Uh, very, very simple. Again, that tweak is called Watch Notifications. So there you go. I hope you guys enjoyed this week's tweak lineup. Like I said, if you guys want to watch other episodes of Best Tweaks of the Week, I will leave the playlist link down in the description. So be sure to check that out if you guys want to discover more really awesome tweaks from Cydia. Uh, but anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, definitely throw me a thumbs up. That helps me out a lot here at the channel. And if you guys want to see more tweak videos like this in the future, don't forget to click that subscribe button. This has been Jeremy, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Later.